guys. Oh, wait. I was still moving. Hi, guys. Hello. Welcome well, to the M&T pod. Actually, like, we'll keep this. I, it's weird that you say, hi, guys, and then I say, hi, as if you're talking to me. Yeah, well, why did you do that? Don't know. Let's start again. Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome to the M&T pod. I'm, I, I was about to say I'm M. <laughs> God. Oh god. This is a disaster. Oh anyway, that this is the preface to what is going on in the pod. We talk a load of shit, as always. We do, it's a little bit of a shorter pod this week, but mm. that's because if I'm honest, not really got much to talk about. No, but it is a bit of a life update, what's gonna be happening with us in the next week or so. And uh shock, we talk about alcohol. And some important life updates. We do. We close off the alcohol Chapter. conversation, um, and we but we do talk about it, you know, into a certain level of detail. But we close that chapter off. And as you say, we talk about what's coming up in the coming week, and a very exciting update that you had this week. <laughs> it's not that exciting, but anyway. I think it's really exciting. Okay. Uh, I can't wait to listen to this pod. Okay, we'll let people in. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> like, this is a good one, guys. Strap in. Bloody hell. See you in the episode! See you in the episode! Good evening. Hiya! Welcome to another episode of the M and T podcast. You said good evening. What if people are listening? Well, sometimes we say good morning. I think in the last couple we've said good morning. Hello. It's evening. Whatever time of day <laughs> you happen to be listening. Uh, I'm going to start this week. I have to with an apology. What have you done? Last week I was shit. Oh, yeah, you were, yeah. Yeah, I that today time. I listened back to last week's pod. Did when you? I was, yeah, I was out on my walk and I always listen back to our pod. Yeah, I don't. Um, and I did well to get through. However, I was, very, I was seriously lacking in energy. And charisma. And charisma, personality. Gumption. There was zero gumption. Mm. Um, so I'd like to apologise. If you made it through last week's pod without just thinking, God, this guy makes me want to just end it all, well done and thank you. But I do apologise. Today, full of the beans. Interesting that I haven't received an apology. This is my apology to you. Oh, I thought you were apologising to the listener. As far as the listener knows, every conversation that you and me ever have, they listen to. Oh, because we don't talk during the week. No, no, no. We talk once a week and it's here on the pod. Yes. So, how are you, my darling? I'm all right, my dear. It is Friday evening. Friday then. And guess what, guys? Here you go, Christine. Sorry, Mum. Mum hates that. Like a weirdo. Everybody likes that sound. Yeah. I'm having myself a little, uh, little... Glass of red. Yeah, you are. I'm having a uh, non-alcoholic... What is it? Vermouth. <laughs> <laughs> non-alcoholic sure non martini vermouth thingy. Cheers. You even drank without even cheers. It's wine. I'm not waiting for you to figure out whether that's a vermouth or a martini or whatever it is. Cheers, darling. It's a martini vermouth. It's a martini vermouth. Is, vermouth, is martini vermouth anyway? Oh, no one knows or cares. You... Tiffany April Bennett are on day 100 of being sober today. Yeah, it's Friday um, if you're listening on any other day and it is day 100. But I'm, like it's not day 100. By the time anyone listens to this, I'll be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you will have thrown it all in and then gone and back to being... thrown it all up. <laughs> <laughs> probably. And then gone back to being, being sober again. Talk, yeah, tell, okay. tell me, how, how is it to get to this milestone, 100 days of being sober? Because bear in mind, a lot of people will have done dry January, and have, so maybe at a point where they're, I don't know, what, 30, 40 days, potentially. Yeah. You started way back. 2nd of November. 2nd of November. How does it feel? Like, it doesn't feel like I've done anything, any achievement. There's... Wow. <laughs> I mean, people are tuning in now going, 
Oh come on, Tiff. Give us, give but us something. I, I, I'm not gonna you lie. don't feel like you've achieved anything. I feel like I've achieved a hundred days of not drinking, but I'm not an alcoholic, so I don't. True. I didn't need to do it for my own health and safety. I did no. it for lols. And how many lols did you have? Zero, because I wasn't drinking, Matthew. So what was the? <laughs> all right, I mean, this hasn't gone exactly as I expected. Um, so what activity? What was the fucking point? Um. I wanted Was there one? Do you care? I wanted to give it a go, and I get a bit stubborn. Like I, I don't. I'm not doing it. Like I haven't done it for any particular reason. We had a big summer. I thought it'd be nice to take a break. It just kind of carried on. <laughs> do you know what? Then fair enough. It's Congratulations on doing into that. Into a hundred days. And Maybe what you're proving is there doesn't always have to be some big reason to make the big decision. No. And I don't think it's a big decision, if I'm honest. True. It would be also... a big decision if I had a problem. I do not have a problem. Is a problem I don't we... have a problem, Matthew. Okay, all right, clearly. <laughs> I think the issue we have, darling, is that <laughs> although you're obviously downplaying it, and I, I agree with the downplaying it, why make such a big thing out of... If you, if you do, if you believe that your drinking alcohol isn't a big deal, then why is not drinking it a big deal? However, we have talked about it on every pod since we returned. So our listeners yes, are, are probably a little bit invested in going, how's that going? And so, I've been how much a- money did you save on not buying alcohol? Oh, lots. I think it actually got to. Oh, it was a good number. I think it's a, at a grand. <laughs> Something. Well, you put in that on average, we went I, by what our summer average was, I also, right? ch- I changed mine slightly. Okay. To go with the winter average too, so I can't actually remember. So on it's my, probably, I don't have my phone on me. You've probably gone with around 10 There's, to 12 euros a day, right? Yeah, in total, like one big night out a week okay. and then a canya or two every day. Yeah, you're looking at a grand, save. So something like that. Um, and I have been able to concentrate on work and I've been working hard and being able to get up and exercise and have long days at work and not feel awful and not have hangovers and not have to keep shuffling work. I do know that there have been some great benefits to doing this. And I'm I'm like fine to like I'm going to have a drink this weekend because we've got something going on and we are like I want we're going to Barcelona tomorrow for the day yeah, we on are. Saturday and we're going to this burger place that we found that's like one of the best burger places and they do craft beer and I want a burger and a craft beer so I'm going to have it. Good for you. And then there's a festival, like music in town, um, all weekend, and I'm going to go out and see my friends and have some drinks. And then on Sunday or Monday, whatever day I decide to not drink again, I won't drink again for a few weeks. There's nothing else going on. So I'm going back in. Have a little break, go back in. Dip my toe. Off we go. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) You're ready for a drink, aren't you? Um, well, I just think no, it's... No, that th- makes it sound weird. I just don't... Th- I'm gathering from this very conversation that... Do you re- Do you feel like it's a big deal? Or do you, do you almost wish that we, we didn't talk about it anymore? Yeah, or I'm, is I it... am kind of bored of it. The conversation. The thing is, that in itself is a conversation, isn't it? Great! <laughs> but, but, like, the whole... The fact that it's made a thing of when actually the opposite should be. Yeah, the case. and I have been a bit like I've been a bit like funny and I'm like, oh, the past few days I'm like day ninety eight, like I could fuck it up right now. Like yeah. I've been joking about it, and yesterday I was like, oh look, day ninety nine, and then today I haven't really said anything. Hmm. I've just been like, oh, okay. <laughs> I have definitely learned that the best way to support you on this is, I just haven't made a thing of it. I don't offer it. I don't go, oh, do you want one? Oh, oh, I'm pouring me a glass. Oh, do you want, like, there's absolutely no benefit. Like, why would you? If you want a drink, you'll say you'll want a drink. And even when you do, I don't then go, what, what, what? If you want a drink, you have a drink. That's the thing that I think, as a society, we need to learn, is to not to make such a thing of it. And I, yeah. Why is it such a part of our culture that if you do or don't drink... And I know we're adding to this by... 
literally putting out a 10 minute chat on in on we're eight minutes into the pod love calm down oh we're still going though aren't we um actually nine minutes yeah well i'll give it 60 more seconds and then we move on so we're doing that thing where we are adding to it but yeah um, i'm i'm i am pleased with myself that i have done it and i will be not like I'm just going to be, if I want to have a drink, I'm going to have a drink. If I don't, I don't. Like, Good for I've you. hit my target, which was 100, and we'll see. But you I may go want, another 100. I don't want to not. talk about it anymore. Okay, well, let's consider that case closed. Enjoy your craft beer tomorrow with me and a I burger. Shall. And may we never speak of this again. Okay. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Deal. How's you, how are how you? I'm all right, thank you. Um, I'm very, very excited about you and me going away tomorrow. Yeah, just for the day, isn't it? We're going to Barcelona first thing in the morning. Um, I'm then flying on to the UK because uh, I'm going to go spend a bit of time with my family. But my flight was always going to have to go via Barcelona because there's no direct flights right now. And because we're Spanish residents, flights the Barcelona part of the flight is very cheap. I was about to say ooh la la. <laughs> Ooh la la. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong European nation. Muy bien. Muy bien. Um, yeah, the, the flights to, uh, to and from Barcelona are very cheap. So you said, well, I'll come along with you. And we've got from about nine o'clock in the morning until about... 4 p.m. 4 p.m. when we have to head back to the airport. Yeah. So, so we're, we're going to go have a wander. Do you Pro- know where I'm going? The food market off Las Ramblas. Love the food market. And because that's amazing, I'm going to go get a tortilla. That's going to okay. be nice. And then we're going to go to the burger place. Yep, for lunch. For for lunch. I have to book at this place. So it's I'm only very a little burger joint. That. And then it's close to the Brew Dog pub. So we'll have a pint there. So we're going to Brew Dog for a punk. Maybe some wings. They do good wings. But there's that wing place that we went to last time. Oh night. yeah, you're so right. And then. Oh, oh, I'm going to find that bakery. So we are going food heavy. Food tour. Food tour. My mum actually messaged me today because she was like, what time does your flight come into Stansted? Because she and my father or one of them will come and pick me up. And um, she was like, oh, well, as all good mums do, will you need to eat? And I was like, do you know what? Probably not. Mm, Because you you and me are probably... If Tim's making a sandwich, I'll probably smash it. Um, Yeah, you and me are probably going to be quite food heavy. I'm excited. So am I. It's a nice little treat for us. I've been dieting and not been drinking. And I've been exercising. So really, I've just been depressing myself slowly. (laughs) (laughs) So, but... So this is going to be my kind of like... Have a little break, have a little reset, go back in. Yeah. And that that's nice. helpful when you're doing that kind of thing. Like, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. But yes, I, I am good. Um, Are you looking forward to going to the UK? Uh, yeah, it's always good to hang out with the family. Um, basically, the plan <laughs> for this trip... not what you trip... say off mic. <laughs> Listen, the microphones are on, okay? <laughs> and I know that they're avid listeners. Um, the purpose of this trip is I... Um, I'm going to be doing little activities with my nieces and nephews. Basically, our Christmas present to um, to the nieces and nephews was a golden ticket to spend a day doing whatever you that wish. That is how you cheat as an aunt and uncle. I was going to talk about this because it can. It, in one way, it feels a bit like cheating it because was. we didn't buy them things. But also, I'm not a big believer in buying. Gifts. gifts unnecessarily for um, for Christmas and, and things. Mm-hmm. And they're kids that do hugely appreciate and enjoy just doing things. Yeah. And it's quite nice. So they got golden ticket at Christmas and it was at some point in the new year, uh, you can do whatever you want There's a day with, out Uncle with Uncle Matt. Matt. Yeah. So what so, have they chosen? So as, as, um, as a time of recording... Yeah, because it could times change. are changing. I'm going on a bike ride with uh, the eldest. Yeah. Um, he wants to go on the bikes and he wants to go and f- uh, to a cer- certain place where you can get like a, a cake, a good slice of cake, like a cafe. How old is this? He is 83. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, it's a nice. There's a there's an old abandoned railway uh, mm -hmm. going out of um, the town, which is now like a really good path, good for riding a bike. And on it, a little bit out of the town, there's this little cafe and stuff, and they do good cake. So he wants to ride, go ride bikes, and have a bit of cake. One of them wants to go um, to a trampoline park. Fine by me. I think the other wants to go and play mini golf. Fine by me. Really, mini golf. Well, there, was there a mini golf one? There was a mini know. golf. There's potentially, get this, she also, as one of her options, was just to go to Wagamama's. And I'm a little bit disappointed if that's not what she wants to do because I'll happily just go have a katsu curry. Mm. And then the youngest, he just wants to put up tents in the garden and hang out. And camp. Yeah, yeah like yeah. camp, yeah. So four, I've basically got four dates with the kids to do whatever it is they want. We also gave a golden ticket to my nan. Cute. Um, to say that, again, when I come back, I'll take her out for... Um, I'm going to take her out for afternoon tea. We'll oh. go have, like, a tea and scones. Oh, tip yeah. tree, probably. Um, so I'll take my nan out as well. So I've, I'm there for, like, six days. That's fine. And in that, I've got five dates. I'm also doing a walk around Mersey Island with my dad, my sister, oh, yeah, and Hannah. That. What day is that on? Friday, I think. Cool. Um, I can track you on Wikiloc. You can. I'll put it on. Um, again, part of my training, I have said that when I get when I'm over there, I still need to be walking and stuff, which is fine with my dad because he loves a walk. He does. So we're going to go do the whole of the outside of Mersey Island. Uh, on That'd the be a good, nice thing to do. We then have fish and chips. Oh, there's a good chance that we probably will. Oh. Fish and chips at the coast. What? I'm Sorry, gonna love. go. I'm gonna go somewhere in my new car. <laughs> well, I had a couple of very generic questions lined up for you. The first was going to be, what are you going to do while I'm away? Because that's a little synopsis of my upcoming week when we're separated. Um, but let's let's go to where you just went there. How's your week been, Tiffany? And what would you say your highlight has been? My week has been work heavy. Mm -hmm. And I've got a new car. Hey, here I've we got go. a lease. I've got a lease. Don't, why would you play it down? Because it's not like I've bought a new car. So do you think that it's when someone same. moves into a new place... Yeah, if they're renting, it's not theirs, is it? But they still work... I'm... It is a good thing to do, but it's not like buying a, it's not like buying a house or, or buying a car. I have leased a car. I disagree that it is less of a celebration. For a couple of reasons. And then we'll... <laughs> Your face then for the watcher. <laughs> for a couple of reasons. And I will go through them. Okay. One, you have to have worked really bloody hard to get a lease here. You can't... No Tom, Dick and Harry can just walk into a place and go, can I lease a car, please? No, you can't. You can hire a moped here and you'll probably die. Mm -hmm. leasing wow, a okay. Car here, that was a bit... Leasing a car here, which is what... We agree is the better way of buying a car anyway. And this comes on to my second reason why this is good. Mm -hmm. If you had bought a car, I'd say you're being irresponsible with your money. <laughs> okay, thanks, Tim. I mean, uh, <laughs> um, okay. Oh, like, okay. A, lease is, a lease is good because obviously after whatever the years is that we decided to sign up to, I can then just swap for another brand new car. Like, this is what happens. Wonderful. And it is brand new. Like, it had zero... I think it had 0 0.6 kilometres. Yeah, it had something like that. Because the... I had to go straight to the petrol station. And they asked me how many kilometres were on it. I was like, none. Mm. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And it's a hybrid. So, like, I'm well cool now. <laughs> <laughs> Said no one ever. Uh, I am doing my bit for the environment. You should have seen me trying to figure out how to plug the damn thing in. <laughs> we haven't figured that we, out yet, though, have we? No, I'm going to figure that out. I went to the petrol station. That was hard enough. So. <laughs> Do you know new cars, though? I don't know if anyone, like, I just want, like, it's it's a very, it's a modern car. It's it, got a touch screen and all of that jazz, right? Ooh, there's so a feature I want us to minute. talk about. There's a touch screen and all of that. So, obviously, I wanted to make sure that everything was to my liking um straight away so i had to figure out like how to set radio stations properly like how to how to make sure that all the settings were right like for like literally i went through every single setting on the screen i could 
and like you can even have a user profile which i might set up so that it just sets to me and my perfect temperature yeah because we've got our own keys haven't we and i think we can set those up so that when when i get in it's heart fm and when you get in it's some heavy metal shit oh yeah because i listen to heavy metal um so yeah i we got a car but i was really sad because when i drove the car out of the garage it was raining so it got wet <laughs> yeah it has already <laughs> it's like, already dirty <laughs> it's, um, that would be my dad's worst nightmare yeah. um like it's pristine do you think i could get him to clean the car when he comes over i shit you not my dad would love to clean your car when he's <laughs> over um but it's a very nice car and you have already used it for a photo shoot for fuck it listen i went and did a fuck it delivery yesterday somebody ordered two of the large bottles still available by the way if anyone else is interested somebody ordered two large bottles and i was like well i've got a car now and what's quite nice little pop into town and back which they say are you know that's an irresponsible journey you shouldn't be doing you could that. have walked could have walked it and i walk fucking everywhere but i thought got the car it was spitting a little <laughs> and I had it in entirely electric mode, so I didn't give off a single emission, maybe a fart or two. <laughs> and the centre console, the not the cup holders, the centre console, the little area. Quite big, isn't it? It fits two bottles of fuck it perfectly, so I took a little if picture. If you spill hot sauce in my car, what? I'm going to be annoyed at you. Okay, I'm sorry in advance for any spillages of hot sauce Just in Just don't car. do it. They were sealed, the lids were on and everything. I don't know. Anyway, there's a feature. Oh, fuck. Um, it's got cameras and shit. Oh, you love them. We must seem like we were in the fucking dark ages, because I bet everyone who listens to this is like, um, what are you talking about? But well, we've only I, ever I had... I understand, like, parking cameras. Yeah. But I've never had a car with those. So this has... This one's different. This has a... Ca- when you put it in reverse, we get the obvious camera that points out the back, yeah. and, and the lines where the wheels are heading, so it's very easy to... Figure out where you're parking. But then see. also on the other side of this, like this, of the split screen, the other side of the screen, there's only one way to describe it, <laughs> is a bird's eye view of your car, but like in real. Yeah, so you can see how close to the curb you are like, and everything. And, and the car behind, you do actually start to, it's not like it's, it's augmented. It's like there's a drone above the car. It looks like there is a camera directly above if the car. If anyone wants to explain to me how that works, please do. I, like, Our comments section is going to be lit this I, week. <laughs> with people explaining how our how? car works. But I swear to, like, I was, I'm usually quite good with these sorts of things. I can figure this sort of shit out. I'm like, there is only one way to explain this, Tiffany. There is a drone that follows us around at all times <laughs> to help us when we're parking. It is, it, it's a good help though, because you can literally see how close you are to the curb and stuff, like, which you can't see normally you, you and you literally see your surroundings like you're on google maps yeah live yeah. weird i've gone 35 years without so much as even parking sensors i had parking and sensors i already my... think i'll never be able to park again i think i had parking sensors before in my soul did i yeah maybe. i did yeah 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 maybe yeah yeah i did i love that car anywho well wow, congratulations big hell. week big week yeah it's car. Been a big yeah, it has been a big week, but we've been doing lots of work. There's not been an awful... When did we record the podcast last week? Sunday. So we recorded it Oh, we recorded it to... on the hangover. Yeah. I went to the beach and you laid on the sofa. I did, yeah. Um And then this whole week has been the raining and awful, and it's only just got sunny again, like Thursday, Friday. Back on to weather now. And now we're the here, same old Friday shit night. Week. Friday night, sat in. Recording a pod. Well, yeah, we we absolutely wanted to make sure we got one done before... uh, Because we usually record over the weekend. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to make sure we got it done before we fly tomorrow and then go our separate ways. So that then takes me on to my next... My other question, which was, like, what do you think you're going to be up to during the week? You Uh, already said that you're doing... I'm going to say working. (laughs) Um, Not much different... To what I've been doing so far, though I'm not going to go pick up a new car next week because I already got one of those. But because I do have the vehicle, I could go. I could go. The world is my lobster. Could go anywhere. As long as it's within the 
perimeter of this island. Yeah. So I um, might go see sunset. Who knows? Oh, you could. I could go up north. <laughs> up north. Up north. Just 20 minutes away. 20 minutes up north. I could go anywhere, you know. You, um, you do work better when I'm not here, don't you? Mm. So I think you're going to be really quite productive in this kind of Which means my days might be shorter or I just get more could done. Could be. Could be. Cool. <laughs> Well, I'm going to be doing trampolining and mini mini golf. Well, I might do trampolining and mini golf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay then. I might go bowling. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, work is pretty heavy, so. That's... Do you want to give us a synopsis of how work is doing? Work is doing well. Uh, we are up year on year. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should say that every week. Are we up? Are we up on last year? We are at the moment. Um we have put out a couple of quite cool proposals this week. Had yeah. a couple of cool meetings. Yeah. We were discussing today... My little business. Your little hobby that you do. Is doing all right. Um, that we are kind of in a position where if all proposals come in, we're in for a fun February, March, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So maybe this week is a good little opportunity to have a little reset, a little downtime. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to make an excuse or justify. Next week is going to be no different to this week, okay. <laughs> probably. Except I won't be here. Except, so I'll probably get more done. Lovely. I've already cooked you up soup, chilli. Yeah, um, yeah I'm well happy. I've there got is food, food prep. batched in the fridge for you. Food prep ready to go. I've I already cleaned the house top to bottom over the last couple of days. So literally, it's yours to fuck up, love. Oh no, I'm not going to fuck up. You've done your job, I'll do mine. Smash in. I'm going to reset the camera. I don't know what else we've got going on. <laughs> we'll have a thing. <laughs> good pod, guys. I know, this is a really good pod today. Um... How is your walking training then? Um, it's all right. I, I, I did my second week of like proper gym training oh, uh, yeah. with, with Wes, who hasn't thanked me for the shout out in last week's That's podcast. because he doesn't bloody listen. Because he hasn't bloody listened. So I love supporting his things. And while well, he... Did he get some followers? <laughs> Is he, has he got some followers? Yeah, because we said follow him, didn't we? I don't know. SFX Ibiza. Um... But I'm not going to um, promote his business this week because he didn't listen to last week's pod. Oh, I'll take that back um, then. <laughs> but no, he's a, he's a very good PT. My sessions with him this week were were savage, like proper brutal. But he is a big believer in, he does like to push. I mean, you've been to his um, boot camps and stuff. Yeah. He is a big believer that outside of your boundaries and where it hurts and where you're not really enjoying it, that is where progress is made. So... If you're looking for comfort or ease, he's he's not the PT for you. Like he will push. He's you. very much sports conditioning. It's not just like, yeah, it's not just an exercise session. No. It is conditioning. Yeah, both and... the body and the mind. Oh, all right. Well, no, because he's he he often says like your mind will give up before your body mm -hmm. will. So, I mean, I used to do boxing classes with him, and he'd always be like, you the you lose a boxing fight first in your head. That's why boxing so much is about the bravado and everything. And the, mm -hmm. they might as well, I don't know, boxers are weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> but when he's a PT, he sort of goes down a similar route, which mm -hmm. is that you're not only teaching your body, but you're teaching your mind as well. So actually he's making it really relevant to my walking and stuff. He's like, mate, you've got to imagine it's day seven of a 10 day walk and you're not feeling it. You're you'll done. feel that you'll yeah. feel that in your head first but you'll, before you'll feel it in your legs. So this is going to teach you to suck it up and cr carry on. And Which so it's good. good. It's good. It hurts, um, but I'm appreciative of those well, three well sessions. Well, well done for doing it. Looks good. The walking's okay. Um, at the moment, I'm sort of... I am focusing more on those sessions and then small walks. But when I come back from the UK, I'm bringing back with me a whole load of camping gear and my big old camping bag and everything like that. So I'm basically going to start going out, carrying all the equipment. Wow. Yeah. Exciting. And you're going you're gonna to do like a, gonna oh, some overnights. I'm going to do some overnights. <laughs> um, starting in the garden. 
Um, no. And then another one just down the road um, <laughs> and then around the corner. Just go down to the beach. <laughs> yeah. But no, that's that's the training. I'm, it's eight weeks out, so I've really got to sort of ca- crack on, really. Eight weeks? Eight Is weeks. that it? Yeah. Crikey yeah. O'Reilly. Yeah. That means it's not far till my birthday. No, because I'm going just Ooh. after birthday week. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Because it's eight weeks on the, it, Good Friday is my birthday, and it's Friday today. Huh. Yeah. Eight weeks today? Great Friday. Whee! If anyone's in Ibiza, on uh, 6th of April, we're going out to Sven Vath at Akasha. Is that booked? Is that confirmed? Well, the tickets aren't on sale yet. Okay, but, but it is but confirmed. But that's my birthday night out is on the 6th, leading into the 7th. Lovely. And Tapas opens on the 7th. Lovely. Winner, winner. Tapas, tapas dinner. Tapas dinner! Are you? What are you most looking forward to? Oh, God doing as the season opens it does seem crazy that we're already talking about it but it is almost sort of on the horizon i think we can start to boat imagine day. that's the the thing you're most looking forward to yeah the first a boat day first warm boat day because i've been on a boat i've been on a boat this winter a few times um but the sea has been freezing one time i didn't even get in the sea it was that cold um, i wouldn't get in the sea now fuck that it's freezing. I know it is. That's why I didn't get in it. I took my ski jacket. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the first warm boat day okay. will be good. I'm looking forward to that. The thing is, they do take a while. You don't really get a warm boat day. June? Yeah, I was going to say, you June. don't get them in May. You, you are looking June. May. Yeah. But I think like... I don't know if there's anything particular that I'm excited about that's been announced or anything like that. Okay. Like, And it seems too close to the end of last season to be excited about, yeah. like, going to Pikes. Like, that's the last thing we did. I, I, yeah. I started my day one sober at Pikes. Yeah. Our season ended at Halloween. Yeah. At Pikes. So, And we did joke that we would start our season at the Pikes opening party, which is... 21st of April. So we are going, but... I don't feel excited about that yet because it's still it. I feel like we're. When do you think that happens? When did when does winter? Is it a gradual thing, or is there a moment where you go, okay, I accept now we're back into that season because it's such a seasonal place to live. Um, I, when it gets warm again and you can't go into town without thinking that you need to have a Kenya, which you thought today, to be fair. Oh, I was close today. Um. But I think it's the weather. I'm still cold. Mm. When I'm not cold anymore, then that's when I will feel like we're up, you know, the sum- summer's coming. Yeah. So I reckon mid March I'll start to thaw out like Buble <laughs> at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny old funny old place to live, isn't it? Yeah. I like it though. So do I. Gonna stay. I reckon. I think we should. Yeah. Oh, I wonder how that guy's getting on that said, that sent the message. Haven't heard from him. Hmm. Haven't heard from him. Fair enough. Well, I would say that this week was just a bit of a catch-up. It was a bit of a catch-up, letting people know what's going we on. We also, we tend to get more content to talk about when we do the pod at the weekend. Mm. Uh, so we didn't really get, have as much time to, to prepare for this one. Um, but we thought we'd get in early because we were off on a little, little jaunt tomorrow. Yeah, little John. Sorry, my ice is banging around in the oh, glass. God, Apologies. Ice in a drink. Oh, there she is going. Oh, you I put need it, it in to be there. Warm. That's that's a drink that's supposed to have ice. Okay. You got yourself a little iced drink, and then you're saying that you're still cold and you can't wait for warm weather. And... Yeah, so I can have more ice in my drink. Cool, and there could be more noise on the pod. Oh yeah. No, we'll we'll drink... go back to the rosés as well. Possible. Possible. All right. Well. We will see you next week. Yeah. Um, after which, Tiff would have had a drink. We would have been to Barcelona. Barcelona. I would have been to the UK and come back again. We'll have lots to talk about next week. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. I'm ready for it. All right, get your questions ready, send them through, and we will answer all of them in next week's pod. All right, then. All right. Bye. Bye.